Joining us is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, who's apparently going to be traveling with Mr. Trump and helping him out in Michigan tomorrow. Ma'am, if I have that story right. And you know what? We just had David Malpass on the set. You know David well. And he said one thing Mr. Trump should emphasize is that in the private sector, he was a builder. And that the people of Michigan and all these trades, you know, and things that have been ignored and the working folks and the hard hats and the whatnot, they're dying to build. They would just like a little economic freedom and some incentives to build. You're exactly right. And they want to keep these jobs here in America. And that will be the message when we're on the road tomorrow in Michigan and visiting with people that are in the auto industry, doing a town hall with them. And making certain that they know that Donald Trump is there to support them. He, Kamala Harris, she supported that $93 trillion Green New Deal. That would cost as many as 5 million jobs over a decade. Mm. And the cost to each American family would be over $165,000. And, you know, a lot of people in Michigan, Larry, know that those Five million jobs, a lot of those jobs would be coming out of their community. Mm. And you're so right. They are builders. They are patriots. They love being in the manufacturing trades. And they want to have a president who is going to support them and who is going to support their industry and who believes in made in the USA. You know, it's just it just strikes me. It's so positive. Uh, The idea of a manufacturing renaissance, the idea of the new American industrialization. I just think those are such positive themes. And when you look at them, Senator, what are they? They're things that you and I have campaigned on for decades. They're low taxes. They're deregulation. uh, Keep the dollar as the world's reserve currency, things of that sort. It's stuff you've been talking about. I mean, they're common sense. It's not big government socialism. It's put private enterprise to work. Let people keep more of their own money, that kind of thing. You're exactly right. And we know that wonderful formula that works every time. Less regulation plus less litigation Mm. plus less taxation equals more innovation and job creation. Donald Trump understands that. He did it in his first term as president. He will do it again. He will bring manufacturing back. And Larry, it just is so exciting to me when he talks about repatriating uh, manufacturing to our shores. When you look at the opportunities with AI and quantum computing, when you look at what is happening with advanced manufacturing, we know we have the greatest skill set. We have the greatest engineers. We have the greatest entrepreneurs right here in the United States. So let's give them something to work hard with. And that is what President Trump is going to do. What you think, Senator Blackburn? You saw he got a huge vote among the rank and file of the Teamsters. He's going to win the Teamster vote. Whatever the leadership sure. says, going to win the Teamster vote. Now, how about can he tack on the UAW, the auto workers, especially with the kind of message that uh, we're talking about? I think that what you're going to see is many of those rank and file, they're going to vote with President Donald Trump because they know he is out there fighting for them. And Tennessee has a lot of auto manufacturing. We have the GM plant in Spring Hill. VW is over in Chattanooga. You've got Ford doing a massive plant over in West Tennessee. You have the engine plant, Bodine plant over the Toyota plant over in Jackson, Tennessee. So there is plenty of auto manufacturing Mm -hmm. here. Nissan is in Rutherford County. And we like the fact that our workers know how to make great automobiles. Michiganders (laughs) feel the same about their workers. And I think that those rank and file are going to be completely supporting President Donald Trump, because they understand economics. And you know, another thing they understand is that the federal government is overspent and inflation is too high and the dollar doesn't go near as far as it did when Donald Trump was president. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Couldn't agree more. Thank you ever so much, Senator Blackburn. Have fun out there in Michigan. All right. Coming up here on.